Okay, here we go. So today I'm going to be talking about my first group project, which is a pixelation film. We are just under three weeks to do it, and I actually really enjoyed it. So I was put in a team of seven, and we called ourselves the Revengers, because we're all nerds. So a pixelation film is basically like stop motion, but with actual people. And the brief we had for this film was that it had to be about a pursuit or a chase, uh, together or obsession. So it had to have something to do with one of those three words. So we went for the idea of having a chase film about the Tesseract. The Tesseract is the glowy blue cube in the MCU, by the way. This film had to be 30 seconds long. Um, I think that was the minimum or the maximum. I can't remember which. Mainly it just taught us how to work together as a team, which is useful for me because I don't know how to do that. It also basically showed us how to play to our strengths. So I was in charge of storyboards, so I essentially did the story and then put it in front of everyone else and then they said, yeah, we like this bit and we don't like this bit. And then I took that constructive criticism on and went back to the drawing board and we did some Parts. And it was also useful because we got to use one of the fancy big cameras that Media City has. So this is an example of the storyboards that I did. Um, and I know you can't really see. So there you go. Um, they're pretty basic, but um, I was just trying to get the point across. And I didn't really want to make it all nice and coloured and detailed. Because unless you're basing your film off those storyboards, like Mad Max Fury Road, uh, it's not really that important. It's just mainly about getting the point across of what's going to be happening uh, in that shot or scene. Uh, I think the biggest challenge for us was actually making the Tesseract because uh, that being the main prop, we had to find a way of making it look like the Tesseract. And actually the first draft we had was to actually make it glowing with some LED lights and stuff. Uh, but after having gone around everywhere and not finding any LED lights um, and not having much time at all to buy any uh, online, we just decided to use uh, blue paper instead. I mean, this wasn't exactly ideal because the whole point of the Tesseract is it's a glowy blue cube, not just a blue cube. Um, but I still think people got the point across. Um, one of the first questions we were asked when we showed the film was, so the blue cube, that's a tesseract, right? So basically people did understand what it was. Um, and we, you know, we actually uh, showed it teleporting people in the film. So it wasn't like we just had the blue cube and then no one used it and we didn't add any context. It was also very physically challenging because the point of the uh, chasers is to assume silly poses because otherwise it's just people chasing another person, that's boring. So um, we started off with the concept of everyone doing a different pose uh, and then when that sort of became sort of weird we just went with everyone doing an Aruto run and then someone just sliding along the floor on their stomach. Unfortunately I don't have the best balance which means that for about 90% of the shots in the film I was either falling over or about to fall over so I was a bit like a lopsided pigeon. One of the main criticisms we had with the film uh, was that when we were running it would have been better if we appeared to be gliding instead of uh, lopsided running uh, because the fact that we were changing feet uh, about every two shots made us look a little bit lopsided and weird um, because you know we were changing weight and if we just stayed on the same foot we might have uh, looked a bit more um, well, humorous or realistic or just smoother, I guess. Overall though, I think it went well. Uh, I enjoyed doing it. Uh, I definitely learned how to do storyboards properly um, because the ones they have here, they have like specific stuff. So um, what the number of the shot, the estimated time, shot type, and then you have to describe the scene. And um, I haven't done that before. I haven't really done much storyboarding and the storyboarding I have done is uh, basically just characters expressing emotions. I've like written numbers in the corners of the panels, but I haven't done any shot type or uh, stuff like that. But yeah, that was uh, very useful. So 
To make the Tesseract, we first went to different shopping centres like the Lowry Outlet and also Arndale. And we went there and had a look at the all the shops that might have LED lights, and they didn't. So after that, we basically just decided to make a blue cube uh, using paper and cardboard. This blue cube in question was made by one of our team, namely Nia, and all in all, I think she did actually a really good job. So, well done Nia. If we had to do it again, I guess we probably make it longer. Um, probably add some length to the chase scenes and instead of making it just characters running through corridors, because that's essentially what it is, um, make it more uh, interesting geographically. So for the storyboards I have here, I actually did, uh, what they here, I actually did some shots with them like running upstairs, running downstairs and jumping over like obstacles and stuff like that. Um, because I thought that'd be interesting, but because of time constraints we didn't really have time to do that and so just stuck to a general chase scene, so I guess that's probably what we do differently. The other thing we do differently is probably the credits, because um, the film itself is about a minute long, I think, and half of it is the film, and the other half is the credits, because the editing team were awesome and did the cast with just our names, and then for each individual role assigned uh, an image and our name, which was nice, but uh, when you've got the credits set to the theme of You've Got a Friend in Me, it's gonna be a little bit lengthy. Basically, shorter credits and longer chase scene, if we were to do it differently, or again. I'll put a link in the description for the film if you want to see it, because I, it is actually on my channel. So uh, check it out if you haven't already, uh, because I'm actually pretty proud of it. Next time, I'll probably be doing something about animation context, so It'll be a very short episode. Until next time, bye! Yes, nailed it!